Welcome to Mr. Bell Kitchen today. Today we'll be cooking some spaghetti. I'm going to, this is my greetings I'm using today, a little onions, a little garlic. I'm going to saute up some meatballs and a little ground pork. I'm going to be using some spaghetti, the golden gram and spaghetti sauce. I'm going to use a little olive oil to saute my meatballs. We also on the side gonna have a little garlic bread. And today first I'm gonna saute these meatballs. I'm pour just a dab of the olive oil in there. Let it get nice and warm. Get it nice and warm. Put that on seven. Let it heat up just a little bit before I put them in there. And just, I'm, I'm just going to get them nice, good, and brown. A little browner than what they are. I'm going to put them in here. And I'm just going to stir them up a minute. Nice and brown. So when I make my sauce, I'm going to go right in without breaking the pot. And you can put whatever you want in your spaghetti. Today I'm using just the meatballs and a little ground pork. It's real easy for the new beginners. This is about 30 minute cook. And your dinner is ready. Nice dinner. And if you make, oh. and if you make any mistakes, don't stress. Just start over again, and everything works smooth. As you can see, they turn a little brown already. Oh, that smells good too. I'm going to let them sit for a minute. Yeah. As you can see, the meatballs is getting very nice and brown. And I'm just stirring them up. That way they won't break apart when I put them in the sauce. And I think that right there is nice and brown enough. Pick of them. Pick of them. I'll take my onions. Just a little bit. Of olive oil and so it, right now I have my water boiling for my spaghetti and I want to take it out and put it in so everything can be cooked just in time I'm just going to take it out the box a little at a time and put it into the pot and take it out take it like this and I'm going to break it in half and I'm going to just spread it in like that. It's just this easy. It just falls right out your hand. I'm going to put a little more in there. I'm, I'm, going to, I'm using the whole pack of spaghetti. Kids love spaghetti. I love spaghetti. So I'm going to put it in like that, and I'm going to give me a nice part, and I'm just going to move it around just a little, loosen it up. Yeah, that's good. Let that boil. I'm going to put my onions in the skillet and get them nice and brown, and my garlic. Chopped up garlic in there. I'm going to just saute. Like I say, this is only take 30 minutes to cook this dish. And it's an easy way to start off your cooking. If you don't know how to cook, make sure you watch Mr. Bell channel. Like I say, cooking, cook.
cooking is long, patient, and easy. Once you start cooking and watch Mr. Bell cook, you, you won't want to stop cooking. You'll be in the kitchen every day cooking. But one thing, make sure you wash your dishes as you cook. Don't leave them for no one else. That's about brown enough, and I'm going to take my I'm going to take my pork and put it in. And today I'll be using one seasoning and, and it's going to be black pepper. Put a little black pepper in there. And the reason I'm using the ground pork today is to make the gravy just a little thick and not have my meatballs, just to have a little crumb meat in the sauce to make the sauce nice and make it look medium. Okay, the meat is nice and brown. I'm going to add my sauce to it. Yeah, I'm going to add my sauce to this right here and let it cook. I'm going to cut it down just a little. As I say, I'm going to use this sweet Filipino style sauce, spaghetti sauce. And I'm going to pour it in here. This right here, this spaghetti is going to be so good, especially with this sauce. And as I always say, it's going to be finger looking good. I'm going to stir that up. Yeah. I'm going to take a peep at my spaghetti and see how's my spaghetti coming out. Oh yes, it's nice and loose. It's not thick. You don't see it thick. Everyone is just grain for grain, strain for strain. So when I pour it out, it'd be just like that. No lumps, not sticking together, nothing. It's cooking just the way I want it to be. So. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. When I get that wave in, when I'm cooking, I love to feel that because I feel all the love in the cook and everything. This is my garlic bread we're gonna have with the spaghetti. I'm gonna put it in the convention oven because everything is almost ready. I'm gonna set it on two and that should be ready. Putting my meatballs into the spaghetti. I'm just gonna dump them into the sauce like that. Toss them in. And this right here is gonna be some real good spaghetti. Like I say, it's gonna be finger licking good. Like I said, it's gonna take 30 to 40 minutes to cook a dinner like this. While you're at home, just practice and cook. Get some of your kids in the kitchen with them. Get them involved cooking with you. Oh yes, that look nice. Okay, I'm gonna get my spaghetti off. It's cooked now. And I'm gonna pour it into here. Pour it in, into the strainer. And I like to wash my spaghetti off after I, after I cook it. Give it a nice little wash off. And let it drain, shake it for a while. Just shake it up. Everything's moving just in place. Yeah. Get all the water out the bottom of it. And then I'm going to put it in the bowl. 
I'm going to put it right in here that it just flowed in there. Oh, yeah, that's good. As you, as you can see, it's nice. Nice and just pick it up gram by gram. I'm going to take my songs. It's done. I'm going to put all the sauce and the meatballs in here. Just let it go in there. And now, since this is done in it, everything, the only thing we're going to wait on now is the garlic bread. bread. It's nice and brown. Ready to eat with the spaghetti. This is a nice dinner right here. And that's cooking with the bells. We did it again.